Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is history certification video training and this is the second video of this training playlist and in this video we are going to install Citrix Zen app and Zen desktop 7.11 installation step by step so here is my in infrastructure which we are going to use in this demo so I have first machine is Win2K12 DC01 which is my active directory domain controller here you can see my domain name is victorinfosol.com if you check here I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this machine and if you go to local server you can verify the machine name and domain name which is victorinfosol.com and I have uh, like a uh, basic settings done on my domain control and the second machine is Citrix hyphen DC01 which is my I'm going to install a, a DAC uh, like all the Citrix application on this machine including delivery controller so that's why I have renamed this machine as a Citrix hyphen DC01 and machine I have assigned 8 GB RAM to this machine and this machine is joining in my domain so you can check the machine here so no roles no feature has been installed on this machine yet if you go to local server you can verify the machine name and I have logged in uh, I have joined this machine in domain and I have logged in with my domain account if you want to check you can simply check here my domain account is citrix admin which I have logged in and you can see 8 GB RAM is assigned to this machine so no role or no feature has been installed of this machine so let's install all the Citrix application all the Citrix like delivery control store front everything on this machine only so to do this the first thing which is required we need to install the dotnet framework 3.5 on this server so go to add remove features and on a feature page select the dotnet feature and click next and on a specify alternate path we need to put the path for binary files which is for Windows Server 2012 installation media and we have must be in download Windows Server and here you can see and go and browse the installation media Open and under the source we have folder SSX and just copy the path and post paste here and click OK. And now click on install button to begin the installation for .NET Microsoft .NET Framework 3.5. So just wait for a few seconds. Once the installation done, we can ins we can uh, go ahead and install the pre-request for Citrix Zen app and Zen desktop then we will install the Citrix uh, director and every everything like delivery controller director servers and everything so just wait to get the installation done for .NET 3.5 so now installation is succeeded close this one and now I'm going to mount the installation media for Citrix and if you don't have media you can go ahead and download it from um, from Citrix website they provide basically 30 days free trial for Citrix applications so here you can see this is an app and Zen desktop is there just double click so you can see the installation so if you go if you see here we have if you install a Zen app when deliver application and Zen, app, Zen desktop can deliver application and desktop both so I'm going to install the Zen desktop because I want to give you the demo for delivering application and desktop both in infrastructure so go ahead and click on install and this will give you the main installation page for a Zen desktop 7.11 so we can install the separate things on separate different different server like studio can be installed on different server store storefront can be installed on different server so in this demo I'm going to install everything on same machine so I'm going to start the uh, click on delivery controller so click here yes I want to launch the application 
so now you can see the machine is working in background so now we have uh, installation page and desktop 7.11 so uh, I understood and accept the license agreement click next and here we have option to select whatever role you want to install whatever feature you want to install so I want to install everything so go ahead and select everything and here you can see the core component these all are the core component of Citrix Zen desktop 7.11 infrastructure so here you can see the f uh, for scale for scale and performance region it's recommended the director and the license server be installed on separate server so director and license server you can install on different server to for a performance reason and scale reason so uh, so this is the only demo so I'm going to install everything on single machine so go select everything and click next and here you can see the Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Service Pack 1 Express is going to install and one more feature which is Microsoft Windows remote assistance so so we are going to go ahead and click next and you can see the firewall setting which is going to be enabled by this uh, by this installation and delivery controller use a, up at TCP port 8443 store front is using same directory is using same and license server have four th different uh, TCP ports so I'm going to use the automatically option here you can see the select this option automatically create a rule in the Windows firewall so it automatically create the rule in our Citrix server to enable these traf these port traffic from these port however in my f first demo video introduction video I have uh, I have so uh, I have showed that I have disabled everything domain connectivity like domain firewall for um, um, my all the machines which we are going in this using in this domain so go ahead and close this and click next and now you can see we have uh, some pre-request installation directory and we have some pre-request like .NET Framework 4.5.2 SQL SQL related things and Windows Windows uh, like IIS Windows Remote Assistance feature and we have then we will go and install the uh, core component and it will, uh, then it will install the remote assistance and finally it will enable the port setting for the our Citrix server so click on install and now you can see the installation is started for pre-request and now it's you can see this it's installing the microsoft.net framework 4.2 4.5.2 so you can see here also it's giving the time duration um, by which the installation can be done so about 20 minutes remaining to for the complete the installation to done uh, like uh, finish the installation for Citrix so currently in this installing the dotnet so b b within the installation of Citrix Zen desktop 7.11 on any version may it be ma your machine required to reboot few times to like enable some feature or uh, or enable some roles or components may be require some reboot so so let's just wait for a few minutes to get the installation done so now you can see the dotnet is installed and the machine need to restart it before the installation can continue so go ahead and click close and now you can see the machine is the Citrix setup is automatically restarting the machine and the required features has been enabled after after the restart complete so just wait for a few seconds to get the machine restarted so press ctrl to Dell and put the credential for your account now you can see this setup is executing silently
so now you can see the installation is began and uh, like about 15 minutes remaining and it's still uh, still installing the pre request like local host cache storage local db and then it will it will install the sql server and all the pre requests so it's moving further so sometime you can see here about time is uh, like increased by by some three three four minutes but you you just need to wait for get the installation done it will not take more than uh, 20 to 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes so just wait for a few seconds here so now it's installing the Microsoft SQL Server 2014 so it's pack 1 express edition so might be this take some time that's why SQL installation is a is a independent thing which may take some time that's why you can see here the time has been increased so just wait for seconds or minutes to get the installation done from SQL Server now you can see the SQL Server 2014 is installation completed and now one more restart is required to proceed with the further installation so machine is just rebooting So hit control to Dell. So installation is again started. You can see the now it's installed this. SQL Server so it is still a start installing the pre-request and almost done we have three pre-requests left and Citrix installation is made very easy like all the things you just insert the DVD installation DVD and you just click on install and Citrix will take care about the all the pre-requests all the steps which need to be taken taken care of during the installation so now you can see the Citrix is uh, setup is installing Microsoft IIS server on the, the server itself so you can see the about time 28 minutes remaining so now you can see the pre-request installation is completed now it's installing the core component so the first core component is delivery controller so it will take uh, now 10 minutes most uh, not uh, more than 10 minutes to get the installation done for all the core components five uh, five core component and the post installation configure co component installation so I'm pausing the recording here if any manual direction is required we'll resume the video from the air. So now you can see the delivery controller studio and directory is installation complete and now it's installing the d licensing server so it will take another 3 to 5 minutes to get the installation completed. So I'm pausing the recording again once the installation is completed we'll back. So now installation is completed for everything and it's doing component installation right now so it will not take more than one or two minutes so just be patient so once the installation is done so it's going installation is completed it's going to I'll tell us call home setup so I don't want to participate in call home click next and now we can please wait for a few seconds now you can see that everything is done F installation the installation completed successful and we have a tick here to launch the studio so click on finish button and now you can see the server manager and everything desktop you are able to see the desktop 
so here you can see server manager is launching and you are able to see now desktop once the installation is finished and now you can see the IS role is also installed on this server So just wait to launch the open the service Citrix Studio in, and if you go and click a start button you can see 18 new apps installed and if you go here you can see the Citrix Director, Citrix Storefront, Studio and SQL Server is also installed here so so everything is installed so now you can see we have a separate session for each each like each uh, things here for Citrix Director, Citrix Studio, Storefront, everything. So for now I'm just waiting to launch the studio and then we can once we verify the installation is done and Citrix is uh, like studio is working fine then we can go to next step. So it will take some time to launch the first time studio because it's initiating all the things in background. So now you can see the Citrix Studio is there and we have a storefront and Citrix Studio in Citrix Studio console itself so welcome to Citrix Studio so we are start we can install delivering application and desktop to users and this is the console so this is all about the installation of Citrix Zen server and Zen app and Zen desktop so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye